So the other day I was washing the dishes and I was looking at them like, oh, these plants look like they would be good to take a photo of. And then being in isolation, I was like, what sort of photos could we take? And then I had this idea and I don't know how I got this idea whilst I was washing the dishes, but I always just get random ideas. And the idea was that I would have like a mini verse. So like try and Photoshop or somehow create little characters in between this plantation. And pretty much I wanna make this little plant look like it's a big jungle. Let's figure out how we're gonna do that. I think first things first, we have to take the photo. So for this shot, I'm gonna be using the Sigma 35 millimeter F 1.2. And I'm gonna have to take the photo considering in mind that I need to Photoshop someone in it. So I'm thinking it needs to be sort of on a side angle. So because the shot I'm thinking is having someone standing or sitting from that side angle. So I can't take it from like a flat angle where there's no depth in the shot. Otherwise it will be harder to Photoshop. So I've also got to have my aperture at around F3 because I don't wanna, uh, oh, yeah, I think either F3.2 or something like that, because if it's at F1.2, there's just gonna be that little slither that's in focus. And I don't know if that's gonna be too little or if, if you know what I mean. Like, I don't know if that's gonna be enough in focus for me to use in Photoshop. So I guess I've just gotta find a leaf and see what sort of shots we can get. Yeah, I need to put my shutter speed higher. I think maybe like one four hundredth. Yeah. Oh, wow. I just put my hand in spider web. <laughs> oh. So another shot idea is there's these little, I think they're lily pads. Actually, I have no idea what they are. They're a plant that that looks like it could potentially be good to Photoshop me like jumping from one plant to another. So the one thing that you have to keep in mind as well, which is another thing. So first of all, you do have to keep in mind that, you know, we're trying to Photoshop something in it, but also so we need to take the photos of me at the same angle. So if I have like an above photo of a plant, that means we'll have to get a drone shot of me. But like if we have, the same eye level shot as a plant and I want to be at that same eye level in the edit. We've got to take the photo of me at that same level. So just got to keep that in mind. Because we have this window lighting right here. This would probably be the best place to take the photos. Like we have the couch here where I could sit on if we need to get sitting photos. But yeah, being able to control the light source. Like if in the plant photo, if there's like a shadow coming from this way, I need to replicate that in the photo so that it looks realistic. Because if I'm just fully lit up, but the, sh the actual photo of the plant is really dark, it's just not gonna look real. So this is a good spot for this. Before we take the photos of me, I've got to go through each photo and figure out which ones that I want to use. And then we're gonna figure out the positions that I need to be in for these photos in order for it to look real. So let's go through the photo. All right, so I've changed to a red jacket. This is Chris's jacket, because it's gonna contrast really nicely against the green of these photos. And these are the four photos we've got. So we've got this first one here, which I'm thinking of having me sitting on the edge of that leaf. The next one is I wanna be standing on this branch part, just like a standing shot. This one here, I wanna pretend like it's a tightrope, so some sort of walking shot. And then the last one here is that jumping shot. So I'll just sort of be leaping between these two plants. Let's go. Now pretty much all that's left to do is just go into Photoshop and try and add me into them. I've never, I've never done anything like this in Photoshop and I don't often use Photoshop to add things into images. I don't really use it at all. I usually use Lightroom. So this is new to me as well. So we'll just have to see how we go and send it and see what we come up with. So I'm like a couple hours into like 
doing these Photoshop edits and I've just come to the realization that I just don't know how to use Photoshop like properly. So like I think the first one worked well, but these other ones like I'm just, it just doesn't look realistic at all and I don't know what to do to make it look realistic. So I don't know. I guess I'll just try my best and see what we come up with. I'm just not a Photoshop artist at all. So me going into this was like quite scary because I just had no idea how to make me look real in these photos. So this is the final result. I'm actually, I'm happy with it. Like it looks somewhat realistic. Like if you do know tips that would help me with this, definitely leave them in the comments below if there's any Photoshop artists who are watching because I definitely, I definitely love to know what I could do to make this look better. I ended up just going with this one photo because to do four different photos, I just felt like it was a waste of time if I didn't really know what I was doing and I, I didn't really want to do it anyway. So this is the start of one of the other ones here. That's what the composition would have looked like. There's the other one here with me sort of jumping over. But yeah, once again, I just didn't know how to blend it in properly to make it look right. But I am glad that I did it. Like I have learned some things from this edit. Like I learned that lighting when you're combining two different images is super important. If the lighting's different, it's gonna make it a lot harder to blend it. Like if the sunlight's coming from this way, but then the photo you're trying to add in, the light's coming from this way, it just, it's not gonna look realistic at all. So if you're gonna try this, make sure your lighting is the same in both images. I think it's still good to just be creative whilst we're in isolation. Like it's better than not creating something. So although the result isn't the most amazing thing in the world, at the same time, it's better than just sitting at home and not doing anything. So I had fun creating this. It was something new that I haven't really done before. I wanna do a bit more Photoshop in the future just to like practice my skills, just to be able to know how to do stuff. Like I wanna even do maybe like some night photography and add like neon signs in and stuff like that. I think I wanna do more cyberpunk stuff with Photoshop, but this is a good start. You gotta start somewhere. <laughs> this photo was edited using my Lightroom preset, so if you wanna get that, I'll leave the link in the description, but that's all for today's video. As always, don't think, just do. Repetitious shop and blaze Like Mimi Mishima serving up every single plate The hottest in the season, even summer looks away Cause I got something to prove I'm here cause I pay my dues So please tell me something new I'm in the...